Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2s. This video, I'll be showing you image versus photo prism versus Nextcloud versus Fallrun, which is the best photo management platform. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just on this video. So let's get started. So if you're deciding between these platforms here, well, there are a few things here that you may want to know first before deciding. So let's start with image. Now image is the newcomer that's really shaking things up in the self-hosted photo space. Now think of it as the open source alternative to Google Photos, but with speed and mobile first design at its core. Now the big draw here is the official iOS and Android apps with automatic photo backups. That means every picture you take on your phone it can be instantly synced to your private server. It also has, has like AI tagging here, facial recognition, uh, smooth timeline view, and even like maps your photos by location. So uploads are lightning fast thanks to parallel processing here. It, ha it was able to push or you will be able to push around like a thousand images in under just an hour. It's also multi-user ready here so your family can reach, uh, can each have their own private library. Now the only real drawback here is that image is still actively being uh, developed. So you might hit the occasional bug or see features evolve over time. So if you want a slick mobile friendly experience and don't mind the occasional hiccup, well image is the modern choice here. Next is we have Photo Prism. Now Photo Prism is a veteran in open source photo management world. Now, it is perfect if you care about AI-powered organization. Now, you can self-host it on anything from a home server to a Raspberry Pi. And once it's set up, it automatically tags photos with objects. Or, now, in this case, uh, places and even, like, faces as well. So, it supports draw files, has a beautiful web interface here, and gives you advanced filters by tag, date, and camera type. Well, it doesn't have a native app here, they can use it as a progressive web app or pair it with tools like Photosync for uploads. Now, it's incredibly stable, uh, handles large photo libraries as well, uh, well, and it's privately focused, so no selling your data. However, multi-user support and some pro features require a pay plan here, which is around like $35 a year. So if you're serious a phot photographer or have like a massive library of to organize, well, Photo Prism is a powerhouse. Now, next is we have Nextcloud. Now, Nextcloud is the all-in-one giant of the group. Now, it's not just for photos, uh, it's your self-hosted Google Drive. Dropbox and Zoom alternative all rolled into one. Now for photos, it uses like apps called like Memories that supports auto uploads, timeline browsing and shared albums, and even basic edits. Now you can add like uh recognize or you can add the recognize add-on for face and object detection. Though it's not as polished as Photo Prism's AI, where Nextcloud shines in collaboration. Now you can create like accounts for your whole team or family, set permissions, share files, and even like integrate calendars and chat. The only trade-off here it's heavier to run and can feel slower with huge pho uh, photo libraries unless you've got like solid hardware here. Now if you want one platform to handle all your files, photos, team tools, Nextcloud is unmatched. Now finally we have file run. Now file run here is the minimalist in this lineup. Now, this one is lightweight, self-hosted file manager that happens to handle photos well enough for casual use. Now, it doesn't try to compete on AI or flashy features, but it's it nails speed and simplicity and easy organization. Now, you get clean time previews here, metadata viewing, and the ability uh, to group photos into virtual albums without moving the actual files. Files here. Now, it even supports like EXIF search by date and uh, camera model. Now, there's no official mobile app for this one, but it works fine in a browser and an old Android phone app exists uh, if you really want it. Uh, File Run also has one time license fee instead of subscription, making it affordable long term. So, if you just want straightforward access to your files and some like photo browsing without the bells and whistles here, File Run is hard to beat. Now, in this case, you may want to choose image here with, for, uh, for example, if you're a mobile first user who wants a Google Photos alternative with speed and auto backup. Now, go with Photo Prism, 
which is best for photo photographers uh, photographers here or anyone needing advanced AI tagging, raw support, and deep search. So, so basically, it's for photographers in general. Now, next cloud here is going to be best uh, for all rounders, for teams or families who want photo plus. So full cloud and collaboration tools. Now, go, go with uh, file run here, which is best for minimalists who want a simple, fast file manager with basic photo features. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.